Welcome to Truck and Tuesday. I did a poll asking if people wanted to see Desert Force, Bank Roller, or the brand new Hot Wheels Monster Jam truck. And you know what? Boy, they beat up on Desert Force. People definitely wanted to see the other two. I already did those videos. You can check them out in my Truck and Tuesday playlist. But now let's go ahead and take a look at Desert Force. You can see the Hot Wheels 50th anniversary logo. Comes with Hyper Truck. Uh, it's very similar to a hyper truck that's been released before. Now on the back, there's a look at uh, this release right here. We have Desert Force. It says it has a detachable trailer. We have an opening cargo door. Over here, here is Desert Force. It showed up at the same time as Bank Roller. Uh, Rock and Race, I already reviewed that one. Came with the Governor. Holland Horsepower, I got this one. I won't review it. I reviewed the black one. The black version of this truck is fantastic and driving wild. I've seen it. I didn't even look at the name. I just recognize the truck. That'll be a future truck in Tuesday presentation. When you see pictures, it might seem kind of not interesting, but then when you see it up close, pretty cool. Look, you can look right through the trailer. So when you park your car in there, you can see your car. Uh, you can see through the roof too. Pretty cool. It's like a car transporter. You know, they have cars. They have uh, car transporters when they take them to the car shows. And some of them have openings like that. Well, I take it back. Some of them have openings all the way on the side so that you can see the car inside. Let's go ahead and take a look at the back. It's X-Racer yellow. Well, translucent. You know what I'm talking about, X-Racer. Pretty good. It's got a, a nice long throw. And since it has a nice long throw, that means that our car... Uh oh <laughs> Doesn't go all the way to the ground. I thought it was going to be good because the longer this is, that means you can get a nice steady incline, meaning the car should have a better time going in. But now that it doesn't go all the way down, I don't know. Let's see. It's good enough. It's low enough for it to clear. Let me hold the truck so I can drive right in. Uh-oh. How come it's not sitting flat? Why is not what is in there that causes this this hyper truck too wide to fit in there? Why? Why does it not sit flat? It has these uh, tabs right here, so that means that those tabs mean we can probably pop off the top of this trailer. That must be what's causing this to hang up on the sides. Man, well, that's that's a bummer. Let me tell you. Well, anyways, it holds your truck. That's the important part. Hey, it's a truck and a truck, hyper truck. And of course the truck itself. Let's take a look. Hey, this is pretty cool for the smokestacks. This is very, very different. But can you imagine your trailer? Your tra trailer is gonna be all black because of the soot that comes out of the exhaust. It's not soot, it's, mm, just the exhaust, I should just say. Chrome grill in the front. Here's your lights on top. You got your lights. Nice. It got side view mirrors that stick out. That's a that's a nice little tribute. Let's see. Does a uh, feature does it have a and it does have the name on the base. Desert Force L14A. What's that mean? A 14th is a 14th week. I'm not sure what A means. Mattel did a nice job getting decorations that match the decos on Hyper Truck. Let's bring them out. Now you don't want to come out. Pretty cool. Looks nice. Pretty got matching stripes and other deco features. Yeah, this is not the first time that they released Hyper Truck with these decos. This is when it was released uh, quite a few years ago. Pretty much the same decorations. They just give it a diff different color. You can see that it's brownish. Well, actually the new one, it doesn't have color there at all. It just goes, uh, there's nothing there. You can just see the base color of the model. Putting the car side by side, there's a there's a definitely a different color. It's slight. I mean, if you were to look at one and then look at the other, you might not be able to tell. But side by side, this one's a little bit of a lighter gold and this one's a little bit of a darker gold and they got the same wheels as before remember that uh, clear roof let's go ahead and put our car back in 
And there he is. You can see right through the roof. Time for the squeaky test. Very nice. No squeaks at all. And fantastic turning radius. But let's see how it really rolls. That was a little sneak peek bonus for those of you who decided to watch the whole video. If you want to see the other Truck and Tuesday videos, there's the playlist. I did a review on how Hyper Truck kind of looks like uh, another vehicle. You can click there if you'd like to check that one out. Thank you for watching. Have fun with your toys. Bye-bye.